Hi everybody, this is Crystal. Today I'm going to show you how to make this little newborn dress. Um, probably good for like a shower gift or something. You're going to need about 320 yards of the main collar and then about 100 yards for the edging and the collar. And then you're going to need, which I don't have on here yet, I still got to go get them at Walmart I was out, but either some buttons that you can pull over and so on, or I'm going to get those little metal hook clasps. I'm going to get the little small ones for little dresses, three of them, and you just sew them on with a, with a regular thread and needle. Okay, for this, this project I'm using Caron Simply Soft Party Yarn which is the kind with the little streamer sparkly things in it. It's just a worsted weight four ply, I'm sorry, it's a medium weight four ply acrylic. And the color I'm using is Fuchsia Sparkle. And I'm going to use this white one too for the edging and it's called Snow Sparkle. And then I'm using a size H which is a five millimeter crochet hook. Okay, now this is a newborn, for a newborn. I don't have any other um, sizes figured up right now. But for the newborn size, you want to start with a chain of 44. But once you get your chain of 44, you want to go ahead and double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook. We don't count the one that's on our hook, so one, two, three, four. Go ahead and double crochet in that fourth stitch like that and now I'm going to work and I'm going to put one double crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain and just like this until I get to the end of my chain okay when you make it to the end of this row you should have a total of 42 stitches and that is counting this little chain thing here at the end that's going to count as a stitch so counting that you should have 42 and now you want to do a chain three and turn your work and that chain three is going to count as our first double crochet now we're going to go and we're going to put one double crochet into the next stitch so we're going to be working in not that very very first one but this one right here and we're going to put one double crochet now the next stitch we're going to put two double crochets into the same stitch <clears throat> and now we're going to put one double crochet in each of the next two stitches so one double in the next and then one double into the next and then the next stitch is going to get two double crochets in the same stitch. So that is going to be our repeat for this row. One double crochet in each of the next two stitches. So one, one. And then two double crochets into the next. like that so one double crochet in the next two stitches so one one and the next one will get two double crochets and then one double one double two doubles and we're going to do that to the end of the row and if you count right you should end where there's two double crochets into this last stitch okay I'm coming to the end of my row I did one double one double and then right here this last little chain I'm gonna go ahead and put two double crochets in that last stitch and you want to have a total of 56 stitches at the end of this row and then you want to go ahead and chain three and turn your work okay row three that chain three is going to count as our first double crochet now we're going to go ahead and put one double crochet in this stitch and one in this one 
so one starting here in this stitch one in the next stitch and now we're going to put two double crochets in the next two now we're going to put one double crochet in each of the next three stitches so one 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 and one and then the next one is going to get two double crochets in the same stitch and that's the repeat for this row one double crochet in the next three stitches one 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 and then two doubles into the next one double crochet in the next three so one 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 and then two doubles into the next one 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 and then two doubles all the way to the end and again you should end in two double crochets right here in this last stitch Okay, I'm coming to the end of the row and again I just did my three doubles in a row here and I'm at the end of my chain and I'm going to put two double crochets into that last stitch and when you get to the end of this row of row three you should have a total of 70 stitches okay now we're going to chain three again and turn our work this time we're going to put one double crochet into the next three stitches. So starting not this one, but this one. One. Two. Three. So counting that chain three that we have, we actually have four double crochets in a row. And now we're going to put two double crochets into the next stitch. Like that. And now I'm going to put one double crochet in each of the next four stitches. One, two, three, four, and two double crochets into the next. And that is the repeat for row four. Four double crochets in a row one two three four and then two double crochets into the next and you want to repeat that to the end of the row okay when you make it to the end of that row and again you should end with two double crochets into that last stitch you should have a total of 84 stitches at the end of row four now before we start row five we're going to mark the armholes so i'm not going to tie off i'm just going to kind of pull up so i don't Lose my yarn. And I'm going to set this out. And that's kind of what it looks like. So you're going to need four stitch markers. I'm just going to use these pieces of yarn. Now, starting where we left off here, count the first stitch. I'm going to count over 12 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I'm going to put a stitch marker in that 12th stitch. Like that. And now, starting with the next stitch, not, not that stitch that we got the stitch marker in, but the next one, I'm going to count over 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now I'm going to put a stitch marker in the 18th one. And I'm going to do that exact same thing on the other side. So starting with the first one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
I'm going to count over 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Stitch mark in that 12th one. Count again. 1, 2, 3, 4. I lost my space. And then I'm going to count over 18, starting with the next one that doesn't have the stitch marker in it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Man, I start counting these and they all start to kind of running together and I lose my spot. And that is our armholes are now marked off. So I'm going to pick up where I left off here. Now I'm going to start row 5 and I'm going to chain 3 and that's going to count as my first double crochet. I'm going to turn here. Now I'm going to put one double crochet in every stitch until I get up here to my stitch marker. So starting with this one right here because this chain 3 is counting as this double crochet. So just one in each stitch. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and double crochet in the stitch that has the marker. So actually counting this chain three, we got 12 double crochets there. Now you can pull this stitch out and pull that marker out. Now I'm going to chain two, one, two, and I'm going to skip all these stitches here. Skipping all 18 of them and this stitch marker marks the 18th one so I'm gonna start my next stitch in the next one without the stitch marker so that way we skipped 18 so just go ahead with this chain 2 on your hook just go ahead and yarn over and come all the way over here this has my stitch marker in it so I'm gonna double crochet into the next one like that and now I'm going to take out the stitch marker. And there's my first armhole. Now I'm going to go ahead and put one double crochet in the rest of the stitches here until I get to my next stitch marker. And when I get there, I'm just going to do the same. Okay, I've put one double crochet and I'm up to my next stitch marker. So now we're going to double crochet in the one right before it. On this side, we're not going to double crochet in this stitch marker. We're just going to chain two. One, two. So leave that one unworked and you can go ahead and pull it out. Now we're just going to skip all these stitches, which is 18. And we're going to double crochet in this stitch that has the marker. like that and then you can take that out too and then I'm going to double crochet in each of the remaining stitches and there should be 12 here counting all these should be 12 11 and my 12th one goes right here in the top of this chain that makes the armhole so that's the end of row five so you should have 48 stitches now these 12 and then here I believe we had 24 and then 12 here so there's our armholes now we're just going to connect it on this round so what we're going to do is, it's where we left off here, instead of turning, 
So I'm just going to go ahead and slip stitch into this beginning chain three here. And now we're going to start the dress part. So that is the yoke is done. Okay. And let's see, this is round six. This is going to be where we start the dress, like the skirt. And it's going to be made with shell stitches. But this first row, I'm going to make a row of increased shell stitches. So the dress is really full. So it's not just straight down. So what we're going to do is we're going to chain one. And I'm going to go right back into that same stitch and single crochet. And I'm going to skip this next stitch and working in the next one, I'm going to do a shell increase. So I'm going to go in it and I'm going to put three double crochets. One, two, three. And I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go back into it again, same one, and do three more double crochets. One, two, three. So that is a shell increase. Three doubles, chain space, and three doubles. So I'm going to skip the next stitch and single crochet into the next. And then it's kind of like a repeat. We're going to skip the next stitch and shell increase into the next. So I'm going to put three doubles. Chain one, go back in and put three more double crochets. Skip one stitch, single crochet into the next. Skip one stitch, shell increase into the next. So three doubles. chain one and three more doubles one two three skip one and here we are at the chain two space of the armhole we're going to work that just like it's two stitches so i'm going to skip this one and then this next chain space the first chain space i'll put a single crochet and you can go all the way under the chain if you want and then there'll be another one kind of it's here because there was two it's kind of tight but right there and you want to skip that one and then show increase in this one right here so we're just counting those two chain spaces of the armhole just as regular stitches so three doubles chain one and three more doubles and I'm going to repeat this all the way around, this pattern that I'm doing. Skip one, single crochet in the next. Skip one, and shell increase into the next. So I'm going to keep working until I get back around at the other side. And remember when you get to the chain two space of the next armhole, just count Keep those chain twos just as regular stitches. So work them if you need to. Just like that. Okay, when you make it back around, you can see I did my shell increase and I have one stitch left. I want to go ahead and slip stitch into this first single crochet. Like that. And you should have 13 of these shell increases, counting the ones that we did through the arms. So now we're going to start our next row by slip stitching twice. Here's our, I'll show you what we're going to do. Here's our first shell increase. We need to get to the middle stitch of these three. So I'm going to slip stitch one and 
again. Like that. Okay. What I want to do now is start my next row by chaining one and single crochet in right back into that same spot. Like that. Now this chain one space is where we're going to put our shell stitch, our five double crochets in the same stitch. We're not going to do double, we're not going to do increases anymore. No more shell increases. So now we're just going to do straight shells and that's five double crochets right here in this space. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to skip one stitch and I'm going to single crochet in the next, which is actually the middle stitch of these three. Just like that. And I'm going to do that all the way around. So I'm going to skip one stitch and I'm going to be shell stitching in this stitch, which is the single crochet from the previous row. So I'm going to go ahead and put five double crochets in it. One, two, three, four, five, and now I'm going to skip one and single crochet into the next stitch. Just like that. Now I'm going to skip one and shell stitch into the next, which is actually the space, chain space. So five double crochets in that spot. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one stitch, the next stitch, we single crochet. One stitch, the next stitch is a shell, which is the single crochet from the previous row. So five doubles. One, two, three, four, five. Skip one, single crochet into the next. Skip one and shell stitch in the chain space. So we're just going to be repeating this all the way around until we get back to the beginning. Three, four, five. Skip this one. Single crochet in the next. Skip this one shell which is right here and a single crochet in the previous round. Okay I'm coming to the end of the row and I just did my last shell stitch in this chain space of that previous increase shell. So I'm going to skip one, and sometimes you got to pull that back to see it, but skip one, single crochet in the next, and down here is the vicinity that we started from, and if you look, you can see the single crochet from the previous row, right, so you want to skip one, and right here is the single crochet, and I'm going to go ahead and shell stitch in it. There is slip stitches on it, but that's fine, it's supposed to be like that. Just go ahead and do your five double crochets through it. Three, four, five, and then right here is we slip. We're in the last row where we slip stitch over and started. Here's the single crochet that we started in. We want to slip stitch into that to end that round, and you'll have 26 shell stitches at the end of this round. So every row now is going to be like the row that I'm getting ready to do. 
for the rest of the dress. We always end with the slip stitch in that single crochet where we started. Now we're going to slip stitch over three times to get to the middle of this shell, which is the third one. So we're going to skip. We're going to slip stitch one, two, and starting, there's three. So we're going to start right here in the middle shell. And we're going to start by chaining one, going right back into it, and single crocheting. Now we're going to be skipping two all the time instead of one. So we're going to skip two, skip, skip, and we're going to be doing our shell right here in this single crochet from the previous row. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we skip two, skip, skip, and in the next one, we single crochet, which is actually the middle stitch of this group of five. And then we're going to skip two, skip, skip, and shell stitch right here in the next one, which is the single crochet from the previous row. And then it's skip, skip, skip two, single crochet in the next, skip, skip, and shell into the next. That single crochet from the previous row. So I'm just going to repeat this pattern all the way back around to my starting point. Skip, skip single, skip, skip, and shell. Okay, I'm coming to the end of this round, and this is how we're going to end all the rounds from now on. I just did a single crochet there in this shell, and then you look, here's where all our slip stitches and stuff from the previous round. Right down here in that single crochet, we need to do our last shell. One, two, three, four, five, and you should have 26 shells again this round. And then here's where we slip stitched up. Right here is the single crochet that we started. I'm going to slip stitch into that. So now from here on out, it's just a repeat of that last row until we get the length that we want it to be. And you can see that it's really pretty wavy and stuff. That's what we want. It'll start to be more dressy, dress looking. I know it probably looks funny now. The more rows you do. So we're going to start every row again by slip stitching over three times. One, two, three to get to the middle of that shell. Chain one and single crochet back into that same stitch. And you can see when every row is kind of moving over because we're slip stitching. So it's, the rows are going to kind of go angled. And that's right. That's what it's supposed to do. And if you want to put a stitch marker, like at the end of, at the beginning of your row, so you know when you get back around where to end, you can do that too. But usually, I can tell by looking because of the row of slip stitches. And now I'm going to skip two and put my shell right here in the next, in the single crochet from the previous row. Five, skip two single crochet in the next, skip two, my shell right here in the next, which is the single crochet from the previous row. So I'm just going to keep working rows of this, of the last row that we did, until I get the dress, the length that I want it to be. Okay. You want to do a total of 20 rows. Now I'm going to switch colors and I'm going to go around the bottom one time with a row. So I'm going to start in the back here, just kind of where I left off a little bit. Well, you can tell, I'll show you here. Here's where we kind of started. 
in the beginning, but working the rows, it kind of goes at an angle because you're slip stitching over. And that's fine if it looks like that. That's what you want to do. So I'm just going to kind of start somewhere right over here. Um, it doesn't really matter what stitch you start in, but you want to start in a stitch. Here's the single crochet. You want to start in the stitch to the left of it. So any single crochet, just the stitch over. So I'm going to start by chaining one. Now I'm going to go back into that same stitch and single crochet. And then I'm going to single crochet in the next stitch. And now the next stitch I'm going to do a shell. And you can see I'm doing the shell in the middle of this shell. So I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to do my five double crochets. Three, four, five. And I'm going to single crochet in the next two stitches. One, two. And now I'm going to do a shell stitch in the next, which happens to be the single crochet from the previous row. So I'm going to go ahead and put my five double crochets into that stitch. One, two, three, four, five. And now I'm going to single crochet in the next two stitches. One, two, and I'm going to shell in the next, which is the middle stitch of this shell. So you can probably kind of see the repeat now. Three. Sorry, my yarn was tangled. Four and five. So there's my shell. And now I'm going to single crochet in the next two stitches. So there's one, two, and I'm going to shell in the next, which is a single crochet from the previous row. One, two, you know what, this is a new skein and it's coming out tangled. I hate that. Three, four, and five. So we're just going to kind of repeat that pattern all the way around and it's going to kind of just gather up a bunch of little shells together. So one single crochet in the next two stitches. One, two, shell into the next. One, two, three, four, five. One single crochet in the next two stitches. And shell into the next. So I'm going to do this all the way around until I get back to the beginning. Okay, when you make it back around with that bottom edging, you, you want to, my last stitch, I put a shell in, and I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into my very first single crochet, and I'm going to go ahead and tie this off, and you should have a total of 52 shells around the border here, around the edging. I'll hide that tail in a little bit. Now I'm going to start on the sleeves. I already got one of them done like that. So, and both sleeves are going to be made, they're made the exact same. So you just want to start. This one I started on this side and on this one I'll have to flip it and start on this side. That way I'm working because I'm right handed so I work that way. So we're going to start in 
there's these 18 stitches that we um, skipped for the armhole in the beginning. We're going to work them plus this one right here that this double crochet is attached to and the other one on the other side right here that this double crochet is attached to. So actually that's a total of 20 stitches that we're going to be working in. So I'm going to go ahead and start in this first stitch here that this double crochet is attached to right there. And I'm going to go ahead and start my yarn there. And I'm going to do a chain one in that stitch. Now in the next stitch, I'm going to do one single crochet. And then in the next stitch, I'm going to do five doubles. I'm going to do a shell. Like that. And now I'm going to put one single crochet in the next, one single crochet in the next, and then a shell in the next. One single crochet into the next one single crochet into the next and then a shell into the next. Just like that and that's kind of the repeat for the whole sleeve. You probably kind of get the gist of it now. It's one single crochet into the next, one into the next, and shell into the next. I don't think I did that first one right. Okay. Shell into the next. One single in the next single in the next. I'll just go ahead and finish the sleeve I guess since I'm already done. Almost done. I know I'm probably boring but oops. One, two, three, four, five, Single in the next, single in the next, okay, shell in the next, sorry if I'm getting out of frame, I don't mean to, okay, and then after that last shell you'll have, um, this stitch here and then this last stitch is the one that has double crochet in it on the opposite side. So we're going to single crochet into the next and then we're going to slip stitch into this one that has that double crochet in it and that will end the sleeve. And like I said, you just do both sleeves the same and you should have six shells, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six shells for the sleeves. And I already got my other one done. So now I'm going to go ahead and put a collar on the front. So you want to start with the back side facing you. And I'm going to be starting right here in this first stitch. So I'm going that first stitch. That's where I tied off, so it's probably going to be kind of tight. And chain one. I'm going to go right back into that same stitch, single crochet. And now I'm going to put a single crochet in the next stitch. And the next stitch will have two 
single crochets in the same stitch. Like that. Now the next stitch is going to be one single crochet, one single crochet in the next, and then the next stitch will have two single crochets in the same stitch. One single crochet in the next, one single crochet in the next, and two single crochets in the next. Okay, for the collar, you want to start with the back side facing you, and we're going to work starting over here on this side. So when we flip it, the stitches will be right side up. And I'm going to use the same color as the dress for the first row of the collar. So I kind of just flip this up. And I want to start right here in the first stitch. And I'm going to start by chaining one. And now I'm going to go right back into that same stitch and single crochet. Now I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch and now I'm going to put two single crochets into the next. Now I'm going to put one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. One, two, and then two single crochets in the next stitch. And that is the repeat now. One single crochet in each of the next two stitches. One, two, and two single crochets in the next. One single in each of the next two stitches. One, Two, two single crochets in the next. So you just want to repeat that pattern until you get back around the neck here to the other side. Okay, when you make it back to the other side, if you count it correctly, you should have ended with two single crochets in that last stitch. And you should have a total of 56 single crochets that row. And now I'm going to clip my yarn and tie this off. like that. And now I'm going to go back to where I started again. So I'll lay my dress back down and I'm going to start over here again. I'm going to switch colors this time and now I'm going to put the same edging up here as we did down here. So I'm going to start in that first single crochet chain one now in the next, I'm going to jump to the next single crochet, and I'm going to single crochet in it. And then the next stitch, I'm going to do a shell. Five doubles. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to put one single crochet in the next two stitches. One, two. And then I'm going to shell in the next. One, two, three, four, five. One single crochet in the next two stitches. One, two, and shell in the next. So that is the repeat. And I'm going to keep working this until I get to my last two stitches. And you can see by working it kind of backwards like we're doing, when it lays, the stitches are going to be upright. And that's what you want. One single in the next two stitches. And shell in the next.
Okay, when you make it to the end and you have two stitches left, I just did this last shell. I want a single crochet in the first one there, and then slip stitch into the last, and then tie this off. Clip your yarn. I got loads of tails to hide, but that is it. Like that. Last thing you want to do is, I'm embarrassed of all these tails, but I actually can't find my yarn needle. That's why I still have them all. Last thing you want to do is, you want to either get some buttons that you can sew on, and then um, they'll hook to these double crochets here in the back. Let me get this where you can see it. Uh, a few buttons down the side and then kind of slip them in these double crochets or I'm going to actually use some little uh, baby dress hooks where they have their little tiny metal things I don't have any to show you I have to go get them before I can even sew them on but they're just you hook there's a piece here and a little metal hook here and you sew them on with thread and they just hook I'll probably use two or three of them and just sew them on but that's it that's all there is to it I hope you were able to, go, able to follow along, okay? I'm not going to lie, this dress took me like all day to make. It's a lot of double crochets. But if you make this or anything else, I'd really like to see a picture of it. You can post a picture on the on my Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. And until next time, have a good day.